All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here for some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 with the brand new free update pack that just went live. Today, I'm going to be showing you on how to max out the new level cap from 99 to level 120. So without further ado, please make sure to drop a like on the video. I'll greatly appreciate it. So this is actually pretty easy. If you guys remember, for the first two Awoken skills, Super Saiyan Blue and Blue Evolved, we had to talk to Whis. So that's basically what we have to do here. Uh, we unlocked transformations from him in the past. Now he's going to max out our level cap. So let's just see what he has mm -hmm. to say. Oh, I suspected I'd be seeing you again. You no doubt hope to achieve even greater power. I would be willing to assist you in the matter for something delicious in return. Perhaps a little something sweet? Oh my, yes. That truly delectable and unforgettable desserts. If you should prepare me a parfait, I would be more than happy to assist you. Don't keep me waiting. All right, so we have to go find a dessert, I think. Head to the item shop in search of a parfait. So this is obviously my very first time doing this as well. <laughs> We have to go to the item shop. All right, so now Whis is literally having us do some chores for him. Nah, man. I mean, I guess if it's for the uh, max level cap 120, that's fine. So what was it? The item shop? That's right over there. All right, so I guess we have a brand new item, unless this was already here the whole time. There it is. So it's under the food category. Makes sense. It's a five star and a cost... 100,000 zenny. Fair enough. Let's just go ahead and buy five of these. Why not? I mean, we might be able to talk to Whis again and uh, maybe increase the level even more. I highly doubt it. <laughs> if we have to give him 20 parfaits for uh, one for each level, then that will be pretty insane. Hopefully, that's not the case at all. I'm sure it's just one parfait to max out from 99 to 120. All right, so let's mm. see what he says. Oh, I do detect a most amazing aroma. Now then, do you have what we discussed? Hand over parfait. Perfect. Now, as promised, I shall grant you desire for greater power. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, and Xenoverse three. Attributes max range increased. You can now increase your patroller level to 120. The ordinary range for attributes is one through 125 but if you visit Whis, this range will be expanded to one through 200 all right so i think we have to talk to him again you've entered a new realm of power that you've never experienced before should you continue to train daily without letting this power go to your head you may reach even grander heights ultra ego perhaps <laughs> maybe hinting to future dlcs there resides within you a power still unrealized oh cool Oh my, I've said too much. Oh, yo, that's definitely a hint for something else. Yo, Bandai and Dimps are cooking for real. They just hinted at a brand new Awoken skill, I think, or maybe a new level cap. Uh, so let's go ahead and talk to him again just to see what happens. I thought I sensed a powerful aura, but it's just you. Hey, man, <laughs> what's up with that? I see you've been working hard at your training. Excellent. Uh, you may have surpassed the gods themselves with that power of yours. Here's a treat for working so hard at your training. I'll treat you something special. But don't get arrogant. Make sure to keep up with your training. Uh, he didn't mm -hmm. hand over anything. Um... Saiyans never cease to amaze me. Very well. I shall share with you the secrets of an even greater evolution. Now, continue in your training and your pursuit of greater strength. Now, oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. Not too sure what any of that was. But, as you can see, <laughs> we are now in the three digits. 0, 99. So, to the next level, it's going to take... 500,000 experience points. I'm also going to be showing you a faster way to level up as well. But first, let's just see if we have any attribute points. Yeah, we don't because obviously we do have to level up. But if you don't know how to level up extremely fast, you need some time patrol medals to be fair. And go over here, talk to Posok, hey. and he pretty much just increases your level for the first 80 levels. It will cost you Zenny. And then 81 and higher will cost you Time Patrol medals, right? So, um, yep. Boost power. Are you sure you want to pay 200 medals to level up? All right. You gained one level. So, let's see. 100! Level 100! <laughs> 
20 more levels to go. So the next one is 600,000 experience points. So we're just going to keep on doing this until we uh, reach 120. So it's another 200. Once you reach level 110, it will actually start costing you 240 time patrol medals, as you can see right there. So the total cost from level 99 to 120 is... 4,600 time patrol medals. So once again, from 99 to 110, it will cost you 200 medals each level. And then from 110 to 120, it will cost you 240 medals, right? Which uh, adds up to a total of 4,600 medals total. So you can level up normally through experience points. I believe the fastest way to get experience is to um, equip a certain super soul that grants you even more experience points and to take that into a, a certain parallel quest mission. I might uh, talk about that in a different video because I can't really remember off the top of my head. But yeah, that's definitely the fastest way to level up. Uh, you need 4,600 medals and then go talk to uh, Tusok. Of course, first you have to unlock your potential. So be sure to talk to Whis before all of that. Now, let's see how many attributes we just received from 99 up to 120. So, a total of 47. Not too bad. So, I believe we did just say that uh, the level cap for one attribute slot is uh, now up to 120. So, if we go up... Look at that! No! It changes the color to purple! That is insane! <laughs> That's cool, man. First, it's just... Oh, yeah. First, it's blue. Then it turns to Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue, Super Saiyan, and then Super Saiyan God or Super Saiyan Rose. I'm just having fun over here, man. Uh, but let's go ahead and max it out to 200. I don't think it will let me. Yeah, 172. No. So let's actually go ahead and use the Dragon Balls to reset all the attribute points. I can now reassign the attribute points. So let's go ahead and just maximize one uh ability i think yeah key blast supers why not 200 key blast supers imagine the damage plus crazy super souls and qq bang as well as the brand new ultra instinct transformation no way so we can have two abilities at 200 key blast supers and max stamina to be fair i should put 200 into basic attacks uh but this is just for fun for now so I'm going to have to gather all seven Dragon Balls and, you know, reset uh, the attribute points. But this is just for today's video. Look at that. It transformed into red. It is now at the level of a Super Saiyan God. Let's just go ahead and take this into training mode to see how crazy the stats are. Look at that. They even updated the stats in the character select screen. Do you see that? The uh, blast and stamina category. They're glowing red, <laughs> glowing with power. That's absolutely insane. So I also went ahead and equipped meditation just because that's going to give me full key as well. So this is literally beyond ultra instinct. Uh, let's just go ahead and fight Beast Gohan. I have an important question for you guys. Did you guys drop a like on today's video yet? If not, please do so. I should probably equip the Super Soul uh, power, power, a lot of power, uh, which is Krillin Super Soul, which will, of course, increase uh, my stamina and key even more. So I do have a plus five QQ bang into stamina. So let's see how many stamina bars we have. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. We have twelve stamina bars. Let's go ahead and use meditation to see how many uh, key bars we have. What the heck? Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen key bars. That's the max. Absolutely no way. <laughs> Real quick, let's just see how much damage 200 Key Blast does. That's normal Kamehameha. Not fully charged. Oh, and by the way, I do have a plus 5 QQ Bang into uh, Key Blast as well. So this is plus 5 plus 200 attribute points. Fully charged Kamehameha. It literally almost melts one entire health bar. Just one super attack that takes one key bar. How crazy is that? Xenoverse 2 is not balanced anymore. Well, to be fair, 
It technically never was balanced in the first place. Now we're going to go ahead and equip Krillin's Super Soul Power, a lot of power. And as you can see by the description, it increases maximum key by double XL and increases maximum stamina. This is going to be absolutely crazy. <laughs> we're just experimenting out here. Wait, we actually have a lot more stamina bars as well. So you're telling me 200 stamina bars plus a five QQ bang into stamina only takes us up to 12 and that's not even the max so let's see how much we have now two four six eight ten twelve or oh, fifteen so it's the same uh as key bars all right <laughs> no that's literally the max 15 key bars 15 stamina bars this is literally the ultimate warrior this new free update is pretty epic, but this is basically what I wanted to showcase for today. How to unlock your potential to increase your level to 120 and how to level up fast. Uh, just talk to Tusok. Of course, you need 4,600 uh, medals. And then after all that, you can level up all of your attribute points up to 200 under one uh, ability. And you will end up with 15 key bars or 15 stamina bars. Plus Ultra Instinct. Uh, once again, I'm just experimenting out here. So stay tuned for more build videos and breakdown videos. I still have to cover the new uh, mission mode called uh, Cross Versus. That's going to be pretty dang epic. So once again, thank you guys for the immense support. Make sure to drop a like. I'll greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.